Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Let's start. So this is OpenStack QA project update. Myself, Kansiyama. I'm serving as QA PTL uh, since last cycle. So this is our logo. So what is OpenStack QA? We develop, maintain, and initiate the tools. And we plan in to ensure the upstream stability and quality. And on the release wise, like each release cycle, we do the CI CD with gate job and we make sure we are not uh, breaking things or every project is delivering with the quality codes. So that is mission statement for QA. And we have a lot of tooling and projects uh, under QA. We have Tempest, DevStack, Granite. So Tempest is having a set of test case with you with common framework which you can implement the Tempest-like test. DevStack doing the setup for your development environment, Granite for upgrade testing at development level. Petrol is the new one which started with the RBAC testing. It is not yet fine, uh, stable released yet, but we are planning to release it in Stein cycle. And there are a lot of other tooling also, DevStack tool, we have plugins, we have for DevStack, and we have Test result data also like OpenStack Health, StackWiz, and OS Tester to run the test case. Hacking we have for checking the code styles uh, within the OpenStack code. And yeah, there are a lot of <coughs> other projects also. A few of them are deprecated, like last one, Tempest Live is already deprecated since one or two years, which we have moved into the Tempest itself. So these are the current repository, or you can say the current, current sub-projects under QA. And this is <clears throat> what OpenStack QA does. So we are community-driven approach to QA, and we serve as OpenStack community, drive testing best practices, like for example, for interop cases, we, uh, for the compute, and now we are doing for volume test case also, we are doing the strict validation using JSON schema. So that is helpful for interop testing and all. So those are the like some best practice we we maintain and drive. And we maintain test tool and frameworks. And yeah, we keep the gate running smoothly. So every day like we keep checking the gate stability and if there is something broken, so QA team will be like uh, helpful or responsible to support that fix and to maintain the gate stability so that the development of every project can go smoothly. And we support the interoperability test effort. Uh, so currently, Interop has six, uh, five or six uh, projects under them, and uh, all of them test cases are under Tempest repository now. But uh, Interop is extending the uh, certification program with, I think, uh, Heat and Designate, which got approved, I think, yesterday board meeting. But those test cases will be in the heat repository and uh, dev stack, uh, designate repository. <clears throat> but uh, whatever the test case we have currently for NOAA, Cinder, uh, Glance, uh, we'll keep uh, maintaining them and we'll be providing the intro best practice for the other repository and project also. And we do the cross community collaboration for testing tool, etc. Like there's no actually uh, real project exist as of now, but we have a few initiatives for the cross community testing. One is the extreme testing project and uh, some data plane and control plane testing plans we discussed during last PTZ, which can be like uh, used across the community like with uh, OPNFV or with Kubernetes, CI, CD, and all. And we are open for the new testing ideas and projects, so if uh, the new if you think like something you are doing at downstream and uh, that uh, you are like feeling should go at the upstream under QA. So if that is within our scope, so we are very open to adopt that under the QA project. And <clears throat> these are the some contribution stats I collected. So this uh, mainly so that how like uh, the activeness we have in terms of the number of contribution or contribute. So if number of commit, I, I say uh, it is uh, 497 in in Rocky cycle, and uh, which is a little less than Queen cycle, but still it's very good number. 
and review also we have around 2000 reviews doing in 5 6 months and we are solving like file bug 87 and we resolved 58 bugs and if you see that like, uh, the important part is uh, the diversity of companies doing QA and it's not like only one company is uh, doing all this stuff it's all distributed and yeah with at and Red Hat is doing since a lot of time NEC doing so JT Corporation also started back doing that so that is good like we have a variety of uh, companies and developers, they are handling all these QA toolings. And on the, if you see um, <coughs> right side bottom, so these are the current open request. So we have total open reviews around 600 and which are waiting for some meter 300, but uh, on reviewer side also 200, which is the something we should improve because 200 reviews waiting on reviewer side. <coughs> It can be possible like 50 or 40 percent of the reviews are stale or obsolete. We have to just close them. But still, even if it's 50 percent saying 100 review request is open, so that is a big number, I think. So that is something we are going to improve. Like you wanted to this number as minimum as possible. So if you are like submitting any patch, if you are fixing something, so we should be able to like quickly respond and quickly merge that patches. And that is the one reason we are losing few of the key contributors since last one year from like HP, IBM and yeah, but we have to see like if how we can solve these numbers, we can make it minimize. And <clears throat> next I'll cover like what all things we have covered in Rocky cycle and what all we are planning for the Stein cycle. So these are the Rocky features. Uh, one thing we have done is uh, Zool v3 native ASO. So as you might know, like <clears throat> all these uh, Git job has been migrated from project config, which is infra side on the each project side. And the base job like DevStack jobs or Tempest job, Grenade jobs, <clears throat> those has to be owned by QA. And those are the base job which are 90% of each projects run them with the different different configuration and there are few say 10 to 20% project defining their own jobs. So these base jobs are very important and very base part of uh, every project uh, getting. So what we have done, we have migrated those base job under the uh, Zool v3 natives and DevStack is all done, Tempest is all done, Grenade is in progress, which uh, is under review and we should be finishing in Stein cycle. So once all these uh, V3 native jobs are available, so each project can either have their concrete jobs or they can use directly these uh, V3 native jobs. And next is uh, testing the latest APIs. Uh, one is the we did like uh, volume testing on gate, we defaulted it to the V3 APIs and previously it was v2 apis and v2 api in cinder is deprecated and v3 is the latest so what we did we moved all these default testing on the v3 apis and we have a single jobs which running on the v2 apis test case so we make sure that v2 is also working fine but everything else uh, testing the latest api which is v3 and api micro version testing like it's many of the projects has adopted the API micro version, uh, like Noah, Ironic, Cinder, and I don't remember many other. So in every cycle, they implement and they increase the API micro versions, like Noah is around more than 70, or Cinder is also around 60, 70. So what we QA, we do like, what all micro version has to be tested on QA, what all micro version test case has to be written on Tempest, we make sure we write them within that cycle. So we try to catch the uh, the latest micro version testing, whatever project is releasing on that cycle. <coughs> and we did, uh, uh, yeah, Cola Tempest plugin container source job is there. So you have the Cola image where you have the Tempest and all the Tempest plugins available. So you can use that and uh, perform the testing or 
uh, I think there is one Cola job also doing that testing, but that is uh, only done at the setup level, like bring up that image, install Tempest, install all the plugins, and that's it. So just a sanity check it is. But each projects can use that and they can extend to the more deep testing with that image. And more coverage for new feature and API in Tempest and DevStack, like uh, whatever feature gets implemented in each uh, project, like for Keystone, it was application credential, I think, and Noah did a lot of uh, uh, integration services between uh, Cinder and uh, Noah, like uh, volume swap and attach volume, new workflow and all. So we make sure we uh, keep testing those new features and we try to cover more and more uh, use case there. And petrol, so uh, this is, uh, I, as I mentioned earlier, this was a new project for doing the RBAC testing. And it is not a stable release is not done. So, but whatever things we have finished in Rocky is, uh, we are doing the stable branch testing in petrol gate. So now petrol is testing the policies, RBAC testing against master plus queens and pike. So that is helpful because when we test stable branch things on Petrol Master, so we make sure that any project has not changed the policy, which is in backward incompatible way from the previous release. So if they do that, Petrol uh, getting a test case going to fail on that job. So we can capture immediately. And we started neutron test coverage, so neutron was neutron policy is really complicated in terms of the documentation and all. But uh, yeah, we <coughs> started the neutron policy test coverage also. It is not completed. And multi policy testing support. This means like we have few APIs operation which covers the multiple policies between the different different project also even. Say for example, NOAA swap volume, so it enforce the NOAA swap volume policy, then it called the NOAA uh, Cinder, and Cinder enforced the Cinder swap volume policy. So there are two policies involved in the single operation. So those two policies testing support is also in Petrol now. So you can mention both policy and check whether which one you want to fail it and confirm the failure and all. And other is a uh, lot of update about the stable release and main is about the documentation we have covered. We finished a lot of documentation on Petrol, and that is the very first step to move towards the stable release. So these are the items we did in Rocky. And apart from that, as I mentioned, like we keep doing the gate stability work day to day. So that is also kind of work we are doing in each cycle. So this is the item we are targeting for OpenStack Stein and we discussed it during the Denver PTZ. Uh, first one is Zool V3 finish work for the granite, which is very needed, like uh, we provide the granite base job and project start uh, testing the granite job on that. And second priority is petrol stable release. So petrol stable release, uh, is there something we wanted to do in Stein so that uh, we can start doing the gate testing of petrol on project side? So currently there is no project doing the petrol testing on their gate. It is just petrol gate jobs are running on petrol code only. So what our main goal is like, uh, for example, we start with Keystone. So on Keystone changes, we start doing the petrol test case run also. And if they break any policies, so they should block by that gate testing. And to do that, yeah, first step will be our to release the petrol as a stable. Uh, the other reason for that, doing that is, currently petrol is implementing the test case for five projects, which include NOAA, Keystone, Glance, Cinder, and uh, yeah, Neutron doing, Swift doesn't have policy thing. And we are planning to cover only those project inside the petrol tree and provide the framework to write the petrol test case within the 
project side testing repository. For example, each project has their Tempest plugin repositories. So there they can write their petrol test case also. But for that, petrol project will provide the, them the stable framework. So that is also one main purpose to make it a stable release in petrol. And yeah, more documentation and guidelines for Tempest plugins. So this is the one, I'll, I'll say a big challenge for Tempest plugin side, like they always complain like we don't have a good documentation of on Tempest side with guidelines like last cycle we started the release of each Tempest plugin. So that was a lot of confusion why we have to do the Tempest release, Tempest plugins release and how we should do that. And second thing is how Tempest plugin test case should be doing the testing on project side. Like for Tempest, what we do, we do test the master. And on the master itself, we do test the all supported stable branch also. For example, currently it is Okata, Pi, Queen, Rocky, plus master. So four stable branches we are testing in master. So which is making sure anything changed on project side is all working on all these four stable branches also or not. So that is something also we wanted to, we wanted Tempest plugins side also should do that. And for that, yeah, we need to document and uh, provide the better pra best practices like that. I think Neutron already doing that. Few project doing, so we have to provide a centralized guidelines there. Next is consuming all the Tempest CLI in gate. Tempest CLI we uh, break many times and uh, something we have lacking with the unit test also, which is in progress we are doing, but something we are trying is uh, if we can try to consume those Tempest CLI in gate testing, so that is the thing we can make sure all the CLIs are working fine day to day basis. And then scenario manager stable for plugins, so that was also uh, one request like a lot of Tempest plugins, they use the scenario manager in the Tempest. So we try to make it stable for plugins and we, so that we don't break them. And there's one feature like Tempest smart cleanup features request. So currently Tempest doing a cleanup based on the saved file versus the file after test case thing. So that is very kind of risky and uh, you'll be easily able to delete your production level resources. So what uh, the proposal is, which is spec in progress. So the proposal is to provide the resource prefix and Tempest will create each resources based on that resource prefix and uh, based on that we can try some cleanup. And it has the control that, okay, I'm mentioning these resources and I know these resources are only created by test and Tempest, and those only will be this uh, Tempest uh, cleanup CLI should delete. So that is under progress in spec. Next volume strict validation testing using JSON schema. So for compute, we already doing that, and that is very helpful for interop also, and even for us, it is saving our lot of code also, and it is making uh, really automatic uh, validation on that. Keystone system scope testing. That is the one thing like Keystone has implemented the system scope in policies and having the support in Tempest or in DevStack is the very important step to adopt system scopes in all other project also. So that is in progress and I have a lot of testing passed there. Lance already submitted the system scope testing support thing and uh, should be uh, like next week or next to next week we should be able to merge that. And few new initiative we have proposal for new QA project that is control plane testing and we have the responsibility of supporting the some OpenStack CI CD platform also like uh, migrating the gate jobs to new distribution we are trying with the 18.04 and image update which used to be done by infra but now QA team will be happening. I'll just quickly cover because time is less. And these are the uh, things beyond uh, Stein. So extreme testing, these uh, new project things and RBAC testing it on uh, on each project site. And these are cross project work, Zool v3 migration. You'll be keep doing like if there is any new request that, okay, this is the job should be declared as a base job in QA things. So we'll be doing that. Plugins help 
and yeah CICD support we will do that. And this is how you can give us feedback. We have the onboarding session today at 5.10. You can join that and otherwise uh, we have the feedback session also. Uh, there is a link which is I think tomorrow uh, 11.30 or 11.40. And you can ping us on IRC mailing list and you can contribute like we have a lot of items uh, which we need volunteer and as I said we lost a few key contributors so if anyone want to contribute and help and it doesn't need to be a hundred percent even if like within a one week you show up like two hours three hours want to help on any of the items so that will be a great help for that and if you are doing something downstream things which you wanted to discuss and wanted to do on upstream that will be a great contribution in QA. So yeah OpenStack QA IRC channel we are almost available on each time zone I think I am working from Tokyo time zone and Tila is there from Europe and US time zone I think we don't have right now anyone but yeah you can even send a mailing list also if you are not finding us on that uh, QA channel so yeah I will just open up for any question anyone has. So e under QA each tool you are saying is all with the different purpose. So there is no uh, more than one tool doing the same thing. So that is we are making sure. But thing is like if, if, we, if we, you are coming like with a different uh, uh, model or different architecture for doing data plane testing and there is another one also doing for data plane or control plane testing. And based on their advantage, disadvantage, we can collaborate between them. But as of now, we have all these tooling doing their own specific work. There is no overlap between any of these. Which one? Uh, rally. Uh, rally is not part of QA testing, so that is a separate project. But yeah, it is not under QA. Well, in yeah, means I remember the history when Rally was started. So we discussed a lot to put that under the QA. But I think that was Rally team decision to make it as a separate project only, not under the QA. So that was how it started the Rally as a separate project. Otherwise, we always wanted to have it under the QA. But Rally used Tempest to run the test case. Uh, which one? Um, do you have any plans for evangelity testing, like uh, framewater testing, cost testing? How are the specifications under some framework condition? Mm, so that is not uh, there till now. But uh, the thing is, uh, so under the QA thing, if like you have any idea or proposal for introducing a, another sub project under QA, so we are ready to adopt that but the thing is each QA tool, each QA projects like all these 2022 20, they all have a separate sub team so like Tempest has separate team, DevStack has separate. So there might be some overlap between if a single developer working among more than one tool but the thing is if there is any proposal of the new ideas, new project we are ready to open but that project has to maintain their own team under the QA stadium or QA program. Yeah. yeah, the one good example was extreme testing and we discussed it I think since two, two years. The main problem we are facing, we are not having a dedicated team who can drive the extreme testing project. There is uh, one person, Samps from Masakari and he is not able to put bandwidth and so I will say currently zero. <laughs> but 
lot of people, lot of operators are looking for the extreme testing and we are really happy to proceed on that. But we really need someone to drive that and that is the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was started since and Barcelona when Mirantis people was there, yeah. were there, and then it all disappeared. Just how yeah, we started in Boston also, and but uh, two, three people started doing POC and all stuff. But after six months, that also got disappeared. So that is the thing. Like we are not having a dedicated people, even one or two people who can, like, keep it working on extreme testing. Yeah. Okay, so I think we are done with time. Thank you everyone and we have onboarding session I said in the evening 5.10 and happy to come there and you can ask even any question you want to ask, how to contribute or anything related to QA, we will be there. Thank you. <laughs>